if you've ever wanted to know what your house is hiding, this tool might just change how you DIY. This is the Thermomaster Thor 002. It's a professional grade thermal image scanner priced for serious homeowners. I've been using this to track airflow and insulation issues. I spotted a breaker that's getting too hot in my electrical panel, and I've even been using this to track down water lines inside of my walls. In this video, I'll walk you through what this does, why it matters, and whether or not this is worth the price. And before we get started, I wanna make it clear that Thermomaster did send me this for review, but with all my review videos, my goal is to give you accurate and complete information so that you can make a decision that's best for you. First off, as you can see, this is not some phone add-on or a toy. This is a real handheld thermal imager as a three and a half inch IPS screen with a 640 by 480 resolution. It's bright, it's clear, and you can even see it outside in the daylight. This is built tough too. It's made out of ABS material. It's got some rubberized pieces to it. It also has some alloy metal as well, making this a fairly rugged device, even though it is just a thermal scanner. It's rated for a two meter drop and it's IP54 water and dust resistant. It also comes with a nice hard shell case. So if you're tossing this in your tool bag or even in the back of your truck, you'll know that your thermal imager will be protected. The Thor 002 runs on a 5,000 milliamp hour rechargeable battery rated for up to 10 and a half hours of use and it should also be able to recharge fully within about 90 minutes. I've only had to charge this once and I've been able to use it multiple days with multiple projects and the battery is still going strong. When this does need a recharge, it has a USB-C port on the top that you can plug this into any USB charger. It'll support up to 18 watts for fast charging. Now let's talk thermal performance because obviously that's really what this is all about. The base IR sensor is 256 by 192, but it uses their X cubed IR super resolution algorithm to output a boosted 512 by 384 image. This is going to provide you with a much clearer and accurate image than you might expect, especially from a thermal image scanner in this price range. When you combine that with a 60 Hertz refresh rate, you get real-time camera movement tracking without a lot of lag or ghosting. You also have four different image modes with this. You have full IR, which just shows you the infrared pattern. You have visual light, so basically it just acts as a camera. You also have a picture-in-picture -picture mode where you can have a thermal image overlay over the normal picture. And my favorite view is the IR fuse mode, which lets you see a visual image with the IR image laid over the top of it. So you really have a clear understanding of what it is exactly that you're looking at. I ended up using IR fuse to track a hot pipe behind some drywall so I could see exactly where this was running in my house. I have to say this is an incredibly helpful feature because if you have to do any kind of replumbing work in your house, especially with a line that runs through your walls or your ceiling, it can kind of be a hit and miss job unless you know exactly what's behind the walls and this can help you know and pinpoint exactly where it is that you need to be. The Thor 002 can measure temperatures between negative four degrees Fahrenheit and 1022 degrees Fahrenheit. And of course you can change the setting to Celsius or even Kelvin if you want to in the settings. This thermal imager gives you a center spot temperature and it also has minimum and maximum temperature indicators on the screen as well. So you can not only see what the temperature is of the exact spot that you have this pointed at, but also what the minimum and maximum temperatures are on that screen at that given time. One of the pro features that they included with this that I'm really glad to see is adjustable emissivity. Surfaces like shiny metal, wood, and drywall all have different values. So having this feature on board where you can adjust it depending on your needs is really a nice feature to see at this price point. The Thor 002 can record still images and video onto the included 32 gigabyte micro SD card. And the way you do that is by simply pulling the trigger. If you pull it once, it will take a picture. And if you hold the button down, it will start recording. So it's a really intuitive feature, really easy to use on this. It even has a built-in microphone so you can take voice notes during your inspection. These features are great if you're documenting projects and if you're working with someone else for your home project like a contractor. One thing to note is this is not designed for up close thermal inspections like for circuit boards. The Thor 001 has a macro lens that is designed to do just that. So if you need something that will work for up close inspections for like PCB boards, then the Thor 001 is the better choice here. The Thor 002 is built for home diagnostics. So it'll help you with electrical panels, duct work, ceiling joists, radiant floors, all those things this does a great job with. This also includes a built-in light, so if you need to brighten up an area, you don't have to have an additional flashlight to make that happen. It also has a built-in laser pointer, so you can pinpoint exactly what this is pointing at on the wall that you're looking at or on whatever device it is that this is pointing at. You can also use both at the same time. You can have the flashlight on and laser pointer or nothing at all. So who really is this for? This is a great choice if you're a homeowner that is looking for something a little bit more advanced, you wanna stay on top of any issues that might be in your home, 
If you really want a great preventative maintenance tool that you can stay on top of things before they become a big problem, then this is also a good choice to have in addition to other tools in your toolbox. Preventative maintenance obviously is one of the best ways to avoid expensive repairs down the road. If you have any kind of issues or concerns with draft leaks, uh, poor insulation, or cold and warm spots in your house, this is a great tool to have. Water leaks can also be traced with this. Also, if you're a landlord or if you own multiple properties, having a thermal image scanner is a great tool to have in your toolbox because it can help you find, troubleshoot, and correct problems that you may not have been aware of otherwise. So honestly, I have to say I'm impressed. This Thermalmaster Thor 002 has a lot of features, gives you a lot of bang for the buck, and it has things that you'd only expect to see on higher-end thermal imaging cameras, certainly not ones priced at this price point. Um, I won't say exactly what the price point is, but I will have a link in the video description where you can go and check out the current best price at the time that you're watching this video. Um, I will say though that this is priced right around the realm of what you would expect to pay for the thermal image scanners that plug into your cell phone. And I'm not a huge fan of those. I, I know they can be convenient because they're compact and you can kind of take them with you easy. The problem I have with them though is, you know, how often do you have a cell phone that's just about to die or you're expecting a phone call or whatever, whenever you need to use your thermal scanner with a device like that, it's Murphy's Law, it's gonna be the wrong time to use it because you're gonna want your phone for something else or you won't be able to use your phone. So having a dedicated thermal scanner, I think is the way to go. And if you're interested in picking one of these up, uh, again, the link is in the description below where you can go and check this out. All right, that's it for this video. I wanna say thank you for watching. Hopefully you found it helpful. If you did, check out this other video next. I'm sure you'll like it too. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next one.